In a steel-cut ceremony at Bay Systems Shipyard in Glasgow, His Royal Highness, Prince William, Duke of Cambridge, set the plasma cutting machine to work on the first plate of steel for the third Type 26 frigate, HMS Belfast. Minister of State for Defence Baroness Goldie, together with employees and representatives from the Scottish Government, Royal Navy and the Ministry of Defence, joined the celebrations. The event marks an important step in the program to deliver the UK's latest anti-submarine warfare capability to the Royal Navy, with all three of the first batch of city-class frigates now under construction. The UK-sourced steel plate will form part of a unit which will contain the machinery space for the gearbox and stabilizers of HMS Belfast. His Royal Highness Prince William officially cut the steel for the UK's newest warship, at a ceremony held at Bay Systems Govan Shipyard on the River Clyde. The steel cut marks the official start of build on the third of eight Type 26 warships. The steel cut represents an important milestone for the Type 26 program, the Royal Navy, UK Defence and Shipbuilding in Scotland. All eight Type 26 frigates will be built by Bay Systems on the Clyde, sustaining around 1,700 jobs in Scotland and 4,000 jobs across the wider UK maritime supply chain. Defence Minister, Baroness Goldie said, Today is a significant milestone for the exciting new Type 26 frigate program and for defence. We celebrate and receive great support from our UK shipyards. As a Scot, I am very proud of the skills and expertise of our Scottish shipbuilders here on the Clyde. These new frigates will be equipped with the most advanced capabilities and technologies, enabling the Royal Navy to counter emerging global threats for decades to come. Secretary of State for Scotland, Alistair Jack said, Scotland is a world leader in shipbuilding and it's great to see construction of the British military's latest warship beginning by the River Clyde in Govan. When complete HMS Belfast, and the rest of the seven strong Scottish-built Type 26 fleet, will help protect the UK and our NATO allies 24-7. In the meantime the anti-submarine frigate building program is boosting our country's prosperity through the investment and skills footprint defence projects bring. The Type 26 frigate is an advanced anti-submarine warship which will deliver critical protection of the Royal Navy's continuous at-sea deterrent and carrier strike group. Each Type 26 will be equipped with a range of world-class capabilities including the Sea Scepter missile defense system, a 5-inch medium-caliber gun, flexible mission bay, Artisan 997 medium-range radar and towed array sonar. The flight deck will be able to accommodate helicopters up to the size of a Chinook, while the mission bay can quickly adapt to house containers and deploy manned or unmanned vessels and vehicles. Type 26 has been designed to reduce environmental impacts, with features including a hydrodynamically designed hull to optimize fuel efficiency and an advanced anti-fouling coating, which prevents marine growth and stops the transfer of invasive species on the hull. Each ship will also benefit from diesel engine emissions abatement which reduces nitrogen oxide exhaust emissions in a wastewater treatment system, which treats all ship effluent prior to discharge into the sea. Furthermore, it is envisaged that as new technologies become available, there will be potential opportunities for Type 26 to further mitigate its environmental impact. Director General Ships, Vice Admiral Christopher Gardner said, standing in the shadow of HMS Glasgow which has been brought together on the hard standing, with large parts of HMS Cardiff in construction around us, Today's steel cut for HMS Belfast is another significant milestone in the delivery of the 8-ship Type 26 class, itself part of the wider global combat ship endeavour that we are part of along with Australia and Canada. This is a proud moment for everyone who has worked so hard on this strategic national programme, which sustains thousands of jobs across the United Kingdom and harnesses all of our skills and knowledge to produce the best possible ships for the Royal Navy. Its flexible design will also allow its weapon systems to be adapted throughout its lifespan to counter future threats. The development of the Type 26 benefits from the latest advances in digital technologies, including 3D modeling and virtual reality, which ensures the ship's design is refined earlier in the process. The design has achieved international export success, 
with 9 Australian Hunter class and 15 Canadian surface combatants based on the Type 26, representing a significant long-term opportunity for all three nations to work together to exploit supply chain efficiencies and interoperability on operations. The UK's first three Type 26 ships, HMS Glasgow, HMS Cardiff and HMS Belfast, were ordered for £3.7 billion. HMS Birmingham, HMS Sheffield, HMS Newcastle, HMS Edinburgh and HMS London will form the second batch of Type 26 warships. HMS Glasgow and HMS Cardiff are already being built in Govan and designed for a service life of at least 25 years, Type 26 will serve in the future Royal Navy surface fleet into the 2060s. Supporting more than 4,000 jobs across the UK, the Type 26 program is making a significant contribution to the nation's economic recovery by maintaining much-needed skills and capabilities. To date, more than £1 billion has been invested across the program's supply chain, with more than 100 suppliers globally. The Global Combat Ship supports a close partnership between the Royal Navy, Royal Canadian Navy and the Royal Australian Navy, supporting greater operational, training and intelligence ties. In total, the UK, Australian and Canadian navies will operate 32 anti-submarine warfare frigates, all based on the Type 26 reference design. The scale of achievement is truly staggering, and all the staff I've met here today are rightly proud of what you are doing.